Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here, and thanks for checking out this video. And we're back here in 8.3 doing some more pet battles. We happen to be in Pandaria in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, and we are taking on the Vilthic Hatchling. Uh, so we are using the Unborn Valkyr, uh, dropping the Unholy Ascension for Haunt, and the uh, Zandalari Knee Biter with the same abilities as we did in Katiny the Mad. Uh, so for the first ability, we're going to use Shadow Shock just to start the, the damage going on the Hatchling here. And then we're going to follow it up with a curse. And I will say that this fight can be super frustrating uh, because one of his abilities can hit you three times or twice, depending on RNG. And then uh, we'll use Haunt here. That way we'll switch pets and he'll still continue to take that damage. Uh, but it also, the tornado buff that he puts out there has like a 30 or 35% chance to hit your, your pets and do damage. It's frustrating because you can't really control that, but this does work almost every time. In fact, I did it four times in a row before I actually put the video out here. Uh, so when I bring out the knee biter, I just use black claw. That way we can continue to build up those unit multipliers. It's pretty much what we're doing. Uh, it's what I like to do in all of these videos. And then we follow it up with hunting party. So he is... Uh, his armor is exposed there as you could say and he is taking that extra damage uh, so he's going to take out the knee biter which is no problem because as you just saw boom boom all of those unit multipliers are coming in clutch and doing a lot of damage so now we just have our hatchling which is faster so we use our predatory strike it almost takes it out but all he really needs to do is do damage and then survive to let haunt finish it off uh, so like I said, this was the hardest one. It was more annoying more than anything just because of the RNG elements of the fight. But I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you don't use these guys, what do you use to take out the hatchling? I'd love to hear that in the comments section. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for checking out my 8.3 videos.